Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Do Re Mi Fa So La Keto. I'm Do Re and I'm doing a weekly vlog to share my keto weight loss progress. I'm actually not new to keto. I lost about 50 pounds in 2018 and maintained that weight loss until the nightmare we all know as 2020. I gained all the weight that I lost and then some. And then in January, I was in a better headspace. So I restarted keto and I've lost over 35 pounds so far. So let's keep going and see how I did this week. If you watched my video last week, you know that I didn't have the best results and I lost absolutely nothing. This week, I actually didn't change much from what I normally do. Um, I've been having pretty good uh, consistent results so far. So I thought, you know, why change what's been working? And I think that's what we do a lot of times. We run into a week or two and we're not seeing the results that we're hoping for. And then we decide to make a drastic change and do something completely different. Usually all you need to do is just stay the course and just be really honest with yourself about what you've been eating. If you really haven't been changing anything, um, the first thing I would look at doing is just take another look at your macros. A lot of times when you have lost weight, those will need some adjusting. For me, I plan to just keep going the way that I have been until it just stops working. Okay, and on to my results. For my diet, my plan is to stay keto, and I did that. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I eat two meals a day and intermittent fast, and I also drink a small Bulletproof coffee, so I meal prep for three meals every week. My first meal this week was bacon chili with cheesy almond flour drop biscuits. The bacon chili recipe is from the Keto Connect website and I will leave a link for that in the description below. I've used this recipe previously um, in a week where I made the chili cheese dogs. Um, so the chili does really hold up on its own. For the drop biscuits, I used the recipe from the Southern Keto Cookbook. But Keto Connect also has a really good almond flour drop biscuit recipe. So you can use that recipe as well if you don't have the Southern Keto Cookbook. I'll link that recipe in the description as well. For my second meal, I made keto chicken nuggets with a side of cheesy green beans. I've made this recipe before and I just really love the nuggets. Uh, they're pretty easy to make. You marinate them in pickle juice and then just coat them in egg and pork rinds. I use the pork panko. Um, it's just so much easier. You don't have to like crush up pork rinds and make a mess or anything, um, but that's the easiest way to go. And then you just bake them in the oven. I made the green beans in the air fryer. And the trick to this one is to cook it on parchment paper so they don't stick. And then to add the cheese just the last couple of minutes. Below is a link to both the chicken nugget and the green bean recipes. For my third meal, I made Keto Connects butter chicken with a side of cauliflower rice. I haven't made butter chicken before, uh, but it's an Indian dish and it's just really good and really flavorful. And it was actually pretty easy to put together. I'll put a link in the description below as well. For the cauliflower rice, I really didn't follow a recipe. If you watch the Keto Twins, you'll know that the trick to any cauliflower rice is to cook it in a dry pan first and really get as much water out of it as possible. Uh, this will actually make it taste less like cauliflower. And then when you add in your seasonings, it will just absorb all that seasoning. For this cauliflower rice, I just added butter, onions, and salt and pepper. Super simple and on to exercise. My plan is to work out for six days a week, and I did that. Uh, this week though, I only ran for two days. I signed up for the Lupus Awareness Virtual 5K brought to us by the lovely Roshana and Watch Autumn's Keto's Facebook group. Um, but unfortunately, when it came down to the day of the race, it was just raining super hard all day. I ended up doing a workout dance video for 45 minutes to make sure that I got a workout in, but I was kind of disappointed that I wasn't able to actually run the race on the day of. Here are my running stats. This week I added an additional five minutes. So I did 30, 30 intervals for 40 minutes. When I add time, I really do not focus on speed initially. I just try to make sure that I can continue running uh, during that additional time and then I'll work on speed later. Also, if you haven't signed up for the virtual 5K in June, all of that information is in the description below, uh, but you should run it. You should definitely join us. I'm gonna be starting a Facebook post 
in Watch Adam Keto's group, which is WAC Daily Keto Updates. If you haven't joined that group yet, it's great. Um, but I am gonna be putting a post in there to start uh, as a playlist on the songs that we wanna listen to during the 5K. Uh, the theme for this 5K is like 90s boy bands. So the first song that I'm gonna be contributing to this list is gonna be Boys to Men's Motown Philly, because that's like a classic. What's the first song on your list? Let me know in the comments below. And now for my weight. My current weight is 199.6 pounds. That's a loss of 3.6 pounds for the week and a total of 41.4 pounds so far. I am so excited. I've hit both the 40 pound mark and I'm in Wonderland. Tanya, you totally called it. In last week's video, uh, Tanya commented, watch, you're gonna lose like three pounds next week. And that's exactly what happened. This is great. Honestly, when I restarted keto in January, the amount of weight that I had to lose just seemed so overwhelming. I'm not sure if I ever shared the number, but the lowest weight that I had ever hit was in August of 2019 at 170 and a half pounds. Starting in January at 241 pounds, it just seemed so far away and honestly, almost unattainable. Now I'm over halfway there. So my next goal is to run this 5K on June 26th. And then after that, I'm just gonna have to come up with a new goal. So let me know if you have any ideas. Okay, everyone, that is all that I have for the week. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon to get a notification every time I post a new video. I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs> that was Gloria. <laughs>